Welcome to RWM Blue Water Ministry. I'm your host, Bob Manuk. Today, this is a tribute to Melba Dudley. Melba Dudley passed away last week at the age of 90 years. There's another way to say that. Last week, Melba Dudley celebrated with Jesus and the angels as she entered the gates of heaven with thunderous applause, great love and respect. She had run her race and she did the church proud. I don't want to talk a long time about her, but I do want to provide to you the essence of her life and describe what a difference she made. Malva grew up on a farm with two sisters in a Christian home. They were raised in the faith. She married young and had a son, but her husband was a drinker and a Krauser, and he eventually left her. Malba was soon divorced and then was a single parent. I suspect at the time she must have thought that her testimony was shattered and wondered how God could use her. This is not where a young Christian woman wants to find herself. So I want to speak just for a moment to anyone who's listening right now and might feel ashamed of your circumstances. Perhaps you are embarrassed about where you are in life. Know this, where you are is your present, but you, where you are does not speak to your destiny. Where you are does not determine your future. Jesus has a marvelous plan for your life and if you turn to him, he will bring it to pass. So Melba married again and, uh, and had a daughter. Again, he was a drinker and they had a tenuous relationship. I got to know Melba when I started dating her daughter. I eventually married her daughter and we had a son. Soon after we married, Melba's husband left her. A couple years later, her daughter and I separated and were eventually divorced. I know this must sound quite sordid, but for Jesus. Melba was always telling me about Jesus and the difference he would make in a person's life. So there's a video on this website, uh, in the, if you look at the video list, and uh, called Bob Manuk's Testimony. In it, I describe how I came into faith in Jesus. But for now, let me say this. It was Melba who told me about Jesus. And when I came to a place I believed, it was Melba I went to. And she led me in a prayer of salvation where I asked Jesus to forgive my sins and invited him to be Lord of my life. Because of Melba, I now knew that God is real and Jesus is his son. And it was Melba who discipled me in the ways of the Lord. She introduced me to home prayer meetings. She introduced me to Bible studies where we learned how to read the word and have faith in it. All that I am today, I acknowledge the great influence she had in my life. Melba was prepared to pray in any circumstance. She trusted God in all things. She encouraged everybody around her. What a positive impact she had in many people's lives. I remember seeing her after a Sunday morning service join a group of young adults in a local restaurant for brunch. And after eating, she would be holding court. Everybody listened as she spoke about what she imagined heaven must be like. She spoke about the unimaginable love of God for each one of us. And as she spoke, the people's love of God increased and their faith deepened. Their walk became a little more stable. That was in the 1980s. Malba would have been in her 50s. And what an impact she was having. At the same time, she ministered to widows around her own age and had a group that she was the center of and she had an impact in their lives as well. Melba also visited people in the hospital, prayed for them and encouraged them, 
always pointing to Jesus. Many people called Malba a true saint. She would have laughed at that. She saw herself in much more simple terms. She just loved Jesus. I came to see her as a handmaiden of the Lord, she and her sisters. Remember her humble beginnings, a divorced single woman? But in the hands of Jesus, she ran her race. She ran a strong race, and she finished in excellence, and she honored God. I felt I wanted to acknowledge her life, to give tribute to her, to recognize the example she serves to all of us. God has a plan for your life, but it won't come into effect until you surrender to him, follow after him, and allow him to take first place in your life. Then he will amaze you with what he does in you and with you. God bless you, and Lord, bless Malba. This is Bob Manuk from RWM Blue Water Ministry, declaring blessings on you and yours until we meet again. Amen.